Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. It's now about uh, half past five at night and um, it's been raining again. I've been down the van, I managed to get a few things done. But um, I've got another electronic project to, to do. And uh, let's have to empty it out. Oops. It's a low cost project, I can't remember how much this one was. It'll keep you busy for a bit. And uh, it's quite a nice circuit board. No circuit diagram or anything like that. Looks pretty well straightforward. A lot of the components can only go in one way. Um, there's a switch goes there. The main IC integrated circuit goes there. That's a socket. There's also a DC socket for power supply goes there, and the switch goes there. There's two switches. A header. This is like um, I don't know what you call it. Test point or something, and then all the LEDs, and it's an hourglass. So I'm going to start soldering that up, but I'm going to solder these bits in first and then I'm just going to put loads of these in. So it's a fairly straightforward project. And it's just a bit of fun really. I can't remember what it was. Was it, was it £3? £2.50? Something like that. And it's an hourglass. An electronic hourglass. Or egg timer I think you call them. Probably an egg timer. Or an hourglass. We'll see. I've soldered in the DC power socket, the two switches, the IC holder, which means it's a socket for this device, the pin header. I had to cut that off because it, um, got, it got five connections and there's only room for four. So I'll just snip that end pin off. Yeah, it went fairly straightforward. Um, as I've got no circuit diagram, this here looks like it's designed for a, a USB socket. I think I've got one somewhere, but there's not one in the bag I've found. So when it's missing, but um, I'll, I should go and have a look, see if I've got one. Because if so, I'll solder one in. The USB socket I got was the wrong way. This is a horizontal USB socket. And the one I got is a vertical one. So it won't fit in the board. I've put two LEDs in. And um, there's quite a few to go in, as you can see. And the longer lead is the, the positive, or the cross, so that goes in. I'm going to solder all of these in. And uh, yeah, it's going to take me a while. I'm not going to really show you me soldering, I don't think, because I think you've seen people solder before now. One thing I've learned from making this so far is I think it would have been easier to put the LEDs in first because that way it would lay flat when soldering because otherwise it's wobbling about a bit. It's not too much of a problem but um, it just makes it more time consuming to do all the soldering. Cutting the more bits off. Cutting 
component was years ago used to, used to be made of copper but nowadays a lot of these components are steel so if you've got anything magnetic like your, your cutters for example it can stick to them that's where I am with it I'm getting there slow but sure now to keep the tip of the soldering iron clean I'm just using a bit of toilet paper soaked in water and then I can wipe, wipe it like that and it hissing it just keeps it nice and clean soldering bit long ones are positive push it through and just give it a little bend Probably not in focus with this camera, but uh, I think you get the idea. All I do is holding the camera, which is basically impossible. I'll go over it when I'm not on camera. Just roughly put my position. Okay, I'm now slow but sure. this is where we are so far I've got to put these LEDs in I'm going to plug the integrated circuit in put a power supply on it which I'm struggling with because it runs from 5 volt whether it will work from 3.7 volt I'm not sure and I've got to solder these in so that's it for part one of this project please subscribe and like <laughs>